You're back already? Yeah, I've been back for some time, sorting things out and surgical. Oh, um, it's good you're here. I really should get this off today. What about the conference? I gave the afternoon session a miss. I'll try to get along to the drinks. Oh, um, well, I, I hope the lunch went well. It did. No thanks to you. Oh, look, I honestly did not set out to offend those people. I just thought I was... I don't give a toss what you thought. The point is, you did offend them. Now, what happened again? Except we're only just recovering from your food wars with the staff. All I ask is that things run smoothly. I have enough going on in my life without you or anyone else making waves. Um, I wasn't making... Get it, my shop. Hmm? Let's go. <laughs> oh, so far, I haven't touched the drop, I swear. Don't speak right into it like that, it's really sensitive. Okay, go. Okay, the guy presented with a uh, fractured Can you lip. say the patient? Patient presented with, it sounds better. Okay. The patient presented with a fractured larynx as a result of a fast bomb. Obviously, we couldn't intubate via the mouth. Well, I've of the... read the um, notes, I've got all the prelim stuff already. I just need the procedure itself. Right. Okay, then. Here we go, Joe. Don't interrupt me. <clears throat> Feel for the thyroid cartilage. Find the cricothyroid gap. Make a vertical midline incision. Um, four centimetres will do nicely. Place a tracheal hook into the gap. Okay, you're using two hands now. Make a transverse incision with an 11-blade scalpel. Hold your breath and hope for the best whilst you use the dilators to... Hey, guys. Hey. Mm. What's up? Uh, we're in the middle of a tutorial right now. Oh, tutorial. <laughs> Seriously sexy. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. Yeah, he um, loses his sense of humour when he's concentrating. Mm -hmm. Don't you grasshopper. There just never seems to be enough time. <laughs> I've been in about half an hour. What about you? So... See you then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, where were we? Oh, sorry, buddy. That's me. Gotta go. What's the name of that movie where the same thing keeps happening over and over and over? Groundhog Day. That's it. Is this you and Scotty? Yes. Except I wasn't so angry before. Now I'm exceptionally angry. In a calm kind of way. Believe me, I'm not so calm inside. Are we talking fallout from the party here? Dinesh is unbelievable. You should have seen him today. I'm so pleased you enjoyed the party, Justine. Of course, it's just the first of many. He practically invited her to our wedding. Did you say anything to her? Yes. I finally stood up for myself and said it's not going to happen and I will defy the family. Whoa! <laughs> Shanti, that must feel like a huge weight off your shoulders. It did. For about a minute, until I told Scotty and we had another argument. Now, he apologised yet again, but I wouldn't accept it. And then, guess what? Dinesh is standing there with his ears flapping and a big smirk, and I can just imagine what he's thinking. <sighs> They're not as bulletproof as she says they are. Exactly. Just a little something to keep you going. And I've completely cleared out my in-tray, so I'll just need your signature again. Okay. And the appointment diary is up to date. And as you've got nothing else on this afternoon, you could get back to the conference if you wanted. I won't be doing that. Oh, because I've completely ruined it for you. I have dragged Shorten Street's good name through the mud. Stop, there is Libby, anything... please. You're running off at the mouth again. I was trying to apologise. Okay, I, I put my foot in it at the IV, but that is probably because I had sweated blood to get all that wretched non-allergic food ready and because I wanted the lunch to be a success. So I was a little strung out. I was a little nervous. And my usual sensor was on the blink and I... Oh, I'm running off at the mouth again. And just maybe, Libby, it's not about you. Oh, well then, what is it about? What's happened? The very best thing you can do right now is to go back to your office, shut down your computer, and go home. It must be hard for Scotty too. I mean, even just seeing you and Dinesh together, he's very easy on the eye. Dinesh, is he? Don't tell me you haven't noticed. I've known him all my life. I'm used to him. Ah, 
and if I was Scotty, I'd hate that too. I'd probably be really jealous. Not that I'm making any excuses for Scotty. I know. And now I wonder if I should have got so stroppy because I don't know what Tanish will do next. May I tell the rest of the family? Well, he wouldn't in as many words. Oh, that would be too much of a loss of face, but he is used to getting what he wants. You know, in a funny kind of way, you've given him the power to just sit back, wait and choose his moment, really. I have, haven't I? I hate this. I'm treating him like an enemy when he's not. He's a really nice man. So, is there any way through this? Some clever thing you can do to not get him totally offside? Take the power back, you mean? I think you have to. Don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, hello. Hello. You're busy? No, I was just having a shower. Come in. Oh, you're going out. It's Friday. Of course it is. <laughs> Um, well, I, I won't hold you up. I probably should I'm not even... going out. I've got no plans and I'm not busy. And it's very nice to see you. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. It's always nice to see you. Uh, do you want beer? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, um, it's not a good look. Sorry. <laughs> it's my turn to do it this week as well. You have a roster? Gerald has a roster. Oh, have you eaten? I've got plenty of leftovers from lunch. It's all kosher. Don't you... I never want to hear that word again for as long as I live. Oh. Mm. Chris was beside himself. He's just dying to sack me. He wouldn't be so stupid. He was pretty angry. Yeah, well, he'll get over it. Libby, we were doing a lunch. It wasn't world peace. Well, if we were, I'd be South Korea. <laughs> Actually, I think you mean North Korea if we're talking missiles. Oh, I see. I haven't got a clue. I hate letting people down, especially Chris. He's going through so much at the moment, and... Ah, oh, poor guy. Scotty's still here? Yes. It's just leaving you a note. OK, what time? You finish at 7 o'clock? Yes. 10 past then, sharp. What's this about? But you listening to what I have to say and giving me your full support. Okay, support for what? A future together. No questions, and don't be late. Mm. I really should cut Chris some slack. It must be so stressful for him. I mean, Guy's still recovering. Tony, who used to be fabulous, now looks like death warmed up, and now he's pretty much surrogate dad to Tuesday. I get the feeling he's got a lot of anger over that whole terrible situation. Could we change the subject from Chris, please? I'd rather talk about you. Or even us. Us? Yes, Libby, us. When I opened the door tonight and saw you standing there, it, it was like that feeling you get when you know something's right. Just absolutely right. So tell me I was seventh on the list of people he could have spoken to tonight, but nobody else was home. No, you were the first. But just as a friend. No, not just as a friend. So what are we saying? I'm not sure what we're saying. Is this okay? I think so. the only one that does the shopping around here. Hey, buddy. Hi, Joey. Hi. He's a happy boy. Look, um, I think I'll head off. Yeah, sure. Thank you for the beer and everything. It's not a problem. So can I call you? You know where to find me. <clears throat> this place is a tip. All right. What? Look at it. This is your mess, not mine. Yeah, right, I'll sort it. And do you have to have sex right there on the couch? <laughs> Jerry, this might come as a shock, but actually a long way from even thinking about having sex. Right, OK. Not what it looked like. You need to get a life, mate. I have a life. Yeah, of course you do. You wake up, go to work, and then come home and study after night. Then you wake up the next day and do exactly the same thing all over again. 
I have to study. No one needs to study that much. Evening. Evening. Thank you both for coming. You know that I have the deepest affection and respect for you, Dinesh. But, as I've said, I'm not going to marry you and I would like for you to accept that. So please, don't disappoint me by acting spitefully. You know me better than that, Shanti. I would never hurt. Bollocks. You take every opportunity. We're all hurting right now and it has to stop. If I was to announce to the families that our marriage isn't going ahead, there would be shame, as you know. However, if you were to withdraw as the man, you can do so, leaving everybody's dignity intact. Or you can take the dishonorable way and fight every inch and cause so much pain and shame, but even then, you will never, ever change how I feel for Scotty. Thank you for making that clear. Is there anything you'd like to say? No, I'm fine with that. So, Dinesh, if our friendship means what I think it does, you'll do as I'm asking. Because I will tolerate no more points scoring, no more divide and rule, and no more nonsense. Joey, it's me. I'm ordering a pizza. Do you want a quattro stagioni? No, thank you. Come on, mate. You've got to eat. I'm busy. Listen, the place is tidy. I've done everything now. But come on, there's someone one on TV. Come on, have a beer. I said I am busy. Okay. hook into the gap. Okay, you're using two hands now. Make a transverse incision with an 11 blade scalpel. Hold your breath and hope for the best whilst you use the dilators too. Hey guys. Hey. Well, he was a force to be reckoned with on the rugby pitch, but Alan Quinlan is put through his paces at the stables as Stars Go Racing continues tomorrow night at